I never know how to start these things, so I guess we'll just see where this goes. Can it run Doom has been a saying for a while now. It used to be serious back when Doom was new and, you know, technically advanced. Now it's just a joke, except it's not really a joke because people have actually been porting Doom to everything. By that I mean Apple Watches, cars, pregnancy tests, even potatoes. But to my knowledge, which is based on minimal research, no one has ported Doom to an alarm clock yet. And that's why we're doing this. Okay, so this is my real alarm clock. As in, it's what I use to wake up every day. So I can't break it. And with that information, I thought it was a good idea to rip it open. Because guess what f***ing happened? I actually didn't break it. I know, right? I was genuinely confused myself as to how I didn't mess this up. Anyways, how are we gonna do this and what are we actually doing? What we're doing is essentially turning this into a primitive Game Boy. The alarm clock part is more like the controller, and the brains of this are all gonna be from an Arduino, which has similar power to a fancy calculator, which Doom has also been ported to. So what I'm gonna do is put a screen inside the face of the alarm clock. Then I'm gonna take all the buttons and turn them into signals I can feed into the Arduino to trigger a gameplay event. And I'm gonna do all this while still maintaining its functionality as an actual alarm clock. So the first thing we have to do is open the alarm So I took the alarm clock even more apart and it's transparent. You can see that. Dude, that is cool. Why do they make it look so dull? Okay, so I didn't know that the screen was transparent with just a piece of paper behind it. And I can almost guarantee neither did you. Wait. Anyways, that makes it a whole lot easier. So does the fact that nothing's holding it in place. I think I can jam these cords through these holes in the back here, so... We're gonna try and do that. If you see, get those through those light holes. So, if we can just take it out of the shell, we can just put a screen in there and run the wires through the back. Which... may have done. So, that is, or at least was, the easy part. Now, what we gotta do is intercept the signals from the buttons so we can feed them into the Arduino. My initial plan was to have each button do something different. That didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. It's because I'm stupid and I don't understand solid state components. I don't know if that's the right term for those. Anyways, I couldn't get a signal from each individual button because, like I said, I'm stupid. But, I was able to get a signal from all the buttons. So, no matter what button I press, it does the same thing. I was able to do that by soldering a cable onto the LED that turns on when you press any of the buttons. Which, I'll explain more on that later. Then I had to connect the ground on the alarm clock to the ground on the Arduino. That way, I would only need to put one cable for signal running out the back, plus the four for the screen I jammed inside. But don't just ignore that. I would only need to put one cable inside for signal because of the way the Doom Arduino circuit is supposed to work. Which, it's supposed to work like this, by the way. I'll explain more of that later. So, after all of that, we have one input we can give. Forward. And we're gonna need at least one more input. Luckily, I was able to figure that out, because there's actually two LEDs inside of this alarm clock. That might not sound like it means anything, but remember the way we're getting the first signal is by soldering a cable onto one of the LED pins that gets a signal whenever you press one of the buttons. That works because of the way the buttons are wired to work in the Arduino Doom circuit. Here's a picture again of how it's exactly supposed to work. The pins on the Arduino put out a signal or take one in or something like that. Then there's a button and when you press it, the signal goes back into the Arduino and it detects it somehow. After that, Doom Guy moves forward. In the alarm clock, this forward button is all the buttons. When any of them are pressed, the light turns on and 
Doom guy moves forward. The reason I don't have to do anything special with the ground here is because of what we did earlier where I connected the ground from the Arduino to the ground on the alarm clock. So it's technically all one circuit running in parallel. Which is cool because I think that means the Arduino kind of charges the alarm clock. I'm not sure. But it also means when we turn, when we unplug the Arduino, it, um, the, the screen stays on because it's still drawing power from the alarm clock. Which is... It's actually kind of annoying, honestly. Alright, so now we have one more button we can press to give a signal. Except, it's not a button because we're already using all buttons. No, this one works with a light sensor. See, when you leave this long clock in the dark, the second LED lights up so you can see the time. Which means, if I want to turn in the game, I have to shut off the lights or cover up the sensor enough so the signal's strong enough to get through the wire back into the Arduino. All we have to do after that is just wire the fire button back onto the walk button, and then we have technically doom on a technically alarm clock. This is a time I remind you that it's not supposed to work well, it's just supposed to work. Also, that guy who made it run on potatoes, he, acts, he said it would count as potatoes, so this technically counts as doom running on the alarm clock. It's too early for this. So we're in the bathroom, you know, where most great things on this channel happen. I have the alarm clock with everything wired up here. The turning thing, so I, instead of having to do this to turn, I just wire it up to a button. Anyway, let's test this out. Okay, so you see, this is doing right there. I don't know if you can really see that, but it's there. So I also wire the fire button. I can see the fire is working. And then when we press this, the guy, he moves forward. I'm not even using buttons, I'm just shorting wires to make the turn work. Oh, that's a guy. He's in there. Let me shoot him. Where is he? There he is, he's getting me. Stop shorting this wire, please. Where is he? Oh, I'm, I'm shooting him. I'm dead. Okay, so, um, you know, like I said before, it works, just not well. Alright, so like I said before, it's not supposed to work well, it's just supposed to work. Anyways, I think that's really all I have to say for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Once again, I'll hopefully see you in less than a month. No promises. A lot of stuff set up. Probably gonna take more than a month. Maybe two.